Gary, firstly, I must be quite happy to be back on the pitch on Saturday. We'll talk about the win in a second, but how was it for you to get back out there, which, which must have been quite a few frustrating weeks? Yeah, um, it's probably been about a month, hasn't it, since I think a good five, six games. So, no, a frustrating period. Um, you know, a problem that I've probably had with my Achilles for, for a good while now, but which which has come on a, a lot worse in you know in, in the, the the time before before I was out. So, no, to 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 you know semi get over that um you know as i said i still still not completely over it but it's just about managing it now but um no it, good enough to get me out there and, and you know happy to play my part in in what was a, a good win at the weekend the gaffer kept telling us over the week from saying you know how long until gary little's really kept saying the longer the better the longer mm. the better that must have been really tough because it, you're almost in a position where you could go out and play really but you want to try and hold on as long as you can to try and get yourself up to 100 percent yeah it's, uh, it's it's one of those injuries you know it's probably not the doesn't sound the the most you know severe of injuries but um no it's probably one of the worst i've had it's um probably comes with age um you know with 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 with, with what it is and uh not a frustrating one you know it's um it, it got to the stage where it was you know I, I was turning up on it to play on a saturday and probably not training again till the friday um which which at my age you know it it was no good for me you know um you know, I'm the type of person who likes to likes to train in 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 the build up to a game, but um, to be still hobbling around on on a, on a Wednesday and Thursday, and then and then roll out a train on, on a Friday, and then and then put myself through through a game on a Saturday, it was um, it was tough. So you know, we, we always knew with with Buster and and Sucky that you know there was going to be a time where I was was going to need to have a, have a bit of time out, and um, you know after after the Tramere and Oldham games, it just become too much for me at the time, and. Um, the decision was was taken out of my hands really to to have that to have that time off. So are you at a place now where you feel like you can train throughout the week and you know play 100 percent on Saturday? I think it's just it's about managing. Like I said, you know, come um, in, you know after after the the you know the initial um, decision to take some time out. It was uh, seeing a consultant and and you know the decision was taken to to have a couple of injections in in the area, um, which which helped massively. Just not in terms of, of movement, it was into just day to day life. You know, like I said, I was I was limping around and um, you know for for a good portion of the week. So it took it took away that that straight away, which which helped me massively in in terms of just just playing with the kids and and, and getting getting around the streets if you like. But um, no, in, in terms of now, you know, I've done a lot of a lot of work in in built in, in within that month, and um, a lot of strengthening work on the area, and uh, you know, like I said, I, I feel I feel a lot better within myself and a lot more comfortable within the within the Achilles to to, to get a few days training in the week and, and then and then come out on a Saturday. Obviously, <coughs> you come back on Saturday um, at the stage two 0 down. It's not often a manager two 0 down decides to bring on a defender and mm. go five at the back, but. I, it's something we're really comfortable with, isn't it? And, and how much you look to enjoy playing that middle centre back role with the two either side of you. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was, it was, it was a bit of a no lose for me at the, at the time. Really, we you know we were two 0 down. It was um, a substitution that I probably wasn't expecting. Really, um, you know, I'd, I'd sat there and and listened to the manager probably slate the lads a little bit at half time, which which you know he, he's he's come out and, and said that he, he probably did. Um, and it was it was a move whether it was a cautious one you know to 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 not concede more goals or and, and try and sneak a, a, an equaliser or, or a goal here and there but um no as, as it turned out we within that first 15 minutes you know we, we were unstoppable in that in that second half and um seen out the half quite comfortably in the end we've all seen the video when mark Cullen flicks that header on mm. and your reaction over towards that northwest corner I, you really bleed blue and white and, and and that must have been the celebrations of not just the equaliser, but the, a frustrating few weeks for you and finally back in the team and, and seeing your local club doing so well. Yeah, I've missed it. Um, you know, I love playing football and uh, love playing for this football club. And, and to, to to miss, you know, I missed a good portion of last season and, and, and that, that hurt me massively. So, um, you know, I was, I was determined not, not to make that happen again. So, no, to, to finally get back out there after a frustrating month or so, um, was massive, and, and you know, the, once the the adrenaline kicks in, in in a game like that, where you know it's, it's not it's not you know I've I've played many games in my career, and there's not many times I've I've come back from two down to, to win three two. So no, when when something like that happens, you know, especially at a place like the Vic in, in front of those fans, it's you know it's a, it's a pretty special occasion, and um, probably got caught up in it a little bit. You talk about the frustration of your injury, and, and obviously at your age at the moment. It, as a, a lot of the players call you Benjamin Button for mm. getting better with age, but 
how frustrating that injury was was there any moment where you thought you know we could be coming towards the end now or has that not come into your mind at all? no it, 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 to be honest you know it, it wasn't just, just the playing football it was you know the getting up on on a sunday morning and, and feeling the, the 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 pain in in, in my achilles and and in, in the days that followed that um, and like I said my, my little boy was, was asking me to, to play football in the garden and I just couldn't do it and when when, when stuff like that you know happens and, and comes into the thinking you just think like I, I can't take it anymore that um, is it worth it but no there's there's always uh, you know with with medicine and, and, and technology these days there's always um, remedies to, to get around these things and, and thankfully there's you know I had, I had the injection in and you know within a couple of days that that's helped me massively and Got my head around, uh, you know, get, get, just getting myself right, and, and you know, thankfully, it, it's it's gone part of the way to doing that. And like I said, it's it's a lot of stuff I've got to keep on top of in, in terms of um, in terms of strengthening and in terms of uh, in terms of, of recovery still. So, no, as long as I can, um, you know, train and, and you know get out there on a Saturday, I'll, I'll do that as, as much as I can. And you know, like I said, hopefully that'll that'll be for the rest of the season now. I know how focused you are on the rest of this season. It, it's been a, it's been a good start, you know. Mm. We're, we're, we're right up there in the table. Did you expect us to start so well? I know I know there's obviously a few questions on the waveform which we hopefully fixed in Bradford. But did you expect us to be in this place we are right now? Um, I think you know with, with the players we we lost in in the in the summer in in terms of at the top end and. Um, you know, we lost a couple of defenders as well in Cass and Jono. You know, a lot of people were probably a little bit sceptic in, in terms of how we would do. But you now I've, I've played in, in in this league, uh, you know, uh, for a long time, and um, and I, I know it, it's pretty much very similar to, to the to the national league in terms of where anyone could beat anyone. And um, you know, we we've proven it ourselves in terms of beating beating a team at the top in Harrogate and beating a massive club like Bradford, but then but then losing at places like Stevenage. So. Um, it is consistency, and if we can find that consistency, which we found at home, to be fair, um, you know, and that's been the case for a good year and a half now at home. So um, it, it's just it's just mirroring that with with, with the way form, which you know, on on the back of a good win at Bradford, you know, hopefully we we can win again at, at Orient and and uh, you know continue the, the good start that we've obviously had at the moment. Just finally, how has it been for you in training? It seems like such a positive group. I know mm. it was last year, but um, it seems to really have carried on that momentum as well. But as a more experienced member of the group, you've obviously had to sit on the sidelines a little bit. Eh? What's that been like with them? We've got a lot of young players throughout this squad, and you know, the likes of Joe Green, stuff like that. But almost helping and monitoring them as, with their progress as well. Yeah, it must be quite nice to see. Yeah, they, they've done brilliant, the young lads, to be fair, and, and the new lads who've come in. It's, uh, like I said, it, it could have been a little bit difficult for them in, on, on the back of, uh, of, of, of last year's success. So, uh, no, to, to come in and, and to hit the ground running um, is it, fantastic for them. And like I said, the, you know, the month I have had, I have had on the, I've had on the, uh, on the sidelines, it's, uh, it's given me a chance to, to sort of, you know, put my... My experience um, across to, to those guys and, and helping in other ways that I probably wouldn't been able to do on, on the football pitch. So, no, it, it's been good. And it's kept me busy. So, you know, in, in terms of um, in terms of, of my recovery, you know, it, it, it's been it's, it's been a good one. Gary, thanks very much. Cheers.